Hi, I'm Miss Raquel with the Center for Puerto Rican Studies Culture Ambassador Program. I'm an author and I write books for children. Today, I'm going to read a special book, When Julia Danced Bomba. And this book is extra special to me because I wrote this book. The illustrator of the book is Flor Levita, and the book is published by Arte Publico Press. While I'm reading, I'd like you to join me by singing and by drumming. So before we start, just quickly, I want to share with you a couple instruments in the book. The first one I'm going to share with you is a maraca. So everyone, arms up, and we go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The next instruments that we have are the qua. Everyone say qua. Qua. Perfect. And we're just going to, in the air, drum. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the last instrument that we have is going to be the barril. Everyone say barril. Barril. Perfect. So we're going to do the yuba beat. Everyone, yuba. Yuba. And we're going to play the beat. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Stop. One more time. Tap. One, two, three. Tap. One, two, three. Tap. One, two, three. Bam. Perfect. And lastly, one more time. Let's say it together. You ba. You ba. Great. And just so that you all know, bomba has five rhythms. So we have cuembe. Cuembe. Holandés. Holandés. Sica. Sica. Seis corridos. Seis corridos. And you ba. You ba. Lastly, in this story, we have music. So we have singing. And I'm going to teach you the song. And when we're singing the song during the reading, I want you to join us. Okay? So first, I'm going to say the words, and then you're going to repeat them. And then I'll sing, and you're going to join me. Ready? So we have Repicame la bomba. Repicame la bomba. Repicame la qua. Repicame la qua. Ay bailame la bomba. Ay bailame la bomba. Hasta la madruga. Hasta la madruga. Perfect. Okay, so one more time. Let's remember. When we hear the drumming, everyone's going to join me with that yuba beat. One, dun, dun, dun. two, three, stop. Perfect. And then when I sing, you're going to join me singing. So let's get ready to read When Julia Danced Bomba. As Cheita and Julia pushed open the doors to the cultural center, they were greeted by a loud Julia, they're already warming up. Hurry, said Cheita, half dragging Julia up the stairs to the activities room. Once inside, Chito dropped Julia's hand and ran over to the instruments. He sat down in front of one of the barriles and began pounding on the drum, joining the other boys and girls making beautiful music. Chito was a natural. He banged on things all week long. He practiced his beats on chairs and tables and even walls. Chita looked forward to Saturdays. He loved bomba class. Not Julia. Julia didn't want to practice dancing. She preferred to play make-believe. Julia loved to daydream about becoming an astronaut. Suddenly, everybody was ready to dance bomba. Everybody but Julia. Julia slowly joined the other dancers, her eyes lowered to the floor. She took her place behind Jamaris to warm up. 16-year-old Jamaris was the best dancer in the group. As the teacher called out the steps, 
Gulia tried to imitate Jamaris, but it wasn't easy. Julia just couldn't focus on the beat of the drum. She was lost. Her right turn was too slow. Her sidestep was too big. And her jumps were enormous. Julia just didn't think she should dance bomba. The dancers practiced for a very long time. Finally, the teacher announced, okay, everybody, let's get ready for a bombazo. A bombazo? This was Julia's favorite part of dance class. The musicians would play, everybody would sing, and each of the older kids would dance a solo. Julia loved watching the dancers as she sang. As the students happily began to form a semicircle around the musicians, the teacher called out, I have an announcement. As a special treat, all of our younger dancers will also participate in the bombazo today. A solo, Julia would have to dance in front of everybody all by herself. Oh no. Julia could barely pay attention to any of the others. Instead of concentrating on her little cousin Carla's terrific turn, Julia worried about twirling gracefully. Julia did not notice Natalia's special spin. She was busy reminding herself to take little hops instead of bouncing like a donkey. She completely missed Jamari's fancy footwork. She was all caught up in her own thoughts about taking her time and strolling, not stumbling. Finally, it was Julia's turn to dance. Head held high, she slowly strolled into the circle. Stopping in the middle, Julia paused for a moment. She looked at the drummer of the Barrit Primo, the main drum. He smiled and nodded to her. Julia inhaled, closed her eyes, and took the first step. Holding the edge of her skirt, she moved her right arm in the shape of a half circle and heard, Neat, whispered Julia, right on the drum beat. Now, Eyes wide open and a bit braver, Julia focused on the main drum and made the same movement with her left arm. <laughs> Rang out the drum again, loud and clear. Wow, Julia thought, the drum is talking to me. She began twirling in a circle, raising and lowering, left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. The main drum sang out, dun, 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 dun. Julia stopped worrying. She finally took a break from trying so hard. Instead, she heard and felt the rhythm of the bomba drums. Julia danced and danced and danced as Jeito sang out in a strong, clear voice. Mama, cuidame Belen. I baila me la bomba hasta la madruga. The song finished and Julia's dance came to an end. Leaving the circle, she looked over at the musicians and spotted her big brother. Cheito was sitting in the front row, happily pounding Ana Barril. He looked at Julia and winked. 
Julia took her place next to Jamaris. Jamaris hugged Julia and whispered into her ear, that was great. I am so proud of you. Julia smiled from ear to ear. She was a natural too. It was so much fun to read this special story with you. To find out how to become a cultural ambassador junior, ask a grown-up to help you visit centropr.hunter.cuny.edu and click on the Puerto Rican cultural ambassador link. And remember, keep reading.